All right, to be honest with you guys, <laughs> I stared into this camera for about 10 minutes because I really don't know what to say. I want this video to just, you know, for you guys to give me just a moment of your time. This video is what happened to me, what I've been going through, and the future of this channel. One, I'm back, okay? I'll get to all the good stuff shortly but let me just you know get a moment of your time to tell you what the hell happened okay so recently i moved to a new location me and my fiance moved into a new home and i decided to have a sort of you know a gathering with my, me and my siblings and my mother and stuff and i guess somebody wasn't too safe you know we all wear a mask we all do the protocols that the cdc says to do and somehow somebody had COVID, you know, we all contracted COVID at the same time. Just sadly that um, my mother had got COVID too. So my mother is 56 years old, okay? She's not old, but she ain't young, you know? <laughs> and um, so she's been in the ICU for a while. And that's been taking a toll on my family. I had COVID. We all had COVID. But for some reason, COVID attacked her lungs a little bit more than, you know, what would happen to me. Now, for those who, you know, are still doubtful about COVID and all this stuff, I'm not here to, to preach anything. I'm just telling you I had it. Okay. This sucks as a, a first time face reveal for some of you guys because I wanted to, you know, show my face on the channel more often in a positive light. But for this video, I just want to raise a little awareness and tell you what happened. So when we all had the dinner party or whatever, we all got sick at the same time around December 12th. We didn't show symptoms to until like December 20th. I lost my sense of smell. And that's pretty much it. I had like a bad cold for the first day. So did my fiance and my brothers and sisters probably had a little bit of cold or whatever from in their households. But when it attacked my mother, it was different. She had to go to the hospital. Then our oxygen level was low. Now, Granted, my mother has beat COVID. She has beaten COVID. But it attacked her lungs so bad that she's still in the ICU. It's been about 16 days now from this video. 16 days. And they moved her off the COVID floor. Thank God. But the fight's not over. Because uh, her lungs are damaged due to COVID. The doctor has said that she's in a step, you know, in the right direction. However, we just don't know. And I've been moping around, you know, and I just recently got back on Twitter and trying to get back to myself. And I'm telling you, I know this sounds so lame, but guys, I read every last one of you guys supportive messages. Every last one of them. When I'm sitting here going and saying, like, what am I going to do? Because this is out of my hands. This is between the doctors, God whatever, depending on what you believe in. I believe in spiritual stuff and I believe in science too. So I can't do anything. So when I talk to my mother, she's like, you know, you got to live your life for who you are. So I've been trying to take time off guys, but in reality, all the time has been doing, it's just been weighing on me, thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. It's not about running back to the channel. It's not about numbers. It's not about none of that. I love to entertain you guys. I love to drop the news, the discussions, the theories, all that stuff. That brings me joy. That brings you joy. And I'm happy that some of you guys has came out and told me that sometimes my videos change your day, makes it better, make you a better, you know, inside a better person. And that says something to me. And for you guys to sit there and, you know, and send prayers and support. I totally, you know, appreciate it. I'm telling you, I appreciate it more than you guys can ever imagine. Like I said, I'm not going to edit any shit out or anything like that. This video is not even monetized. This is me saying thank you to you guys. So what's going to happen from here on? I'm going to be making videos again. But just not as, you know, extreme back to back, back to back, back to back. I'm coming with the heat. I got two videos ready for you guys cooking up. I still need you guys' support. And prayer because 
although she's not fighting COVID, you know what I mean? She's fighting something else. I don't know what the future holds for my family, but I'm very grateful to you guys who show compassion. There was some one asshole who, you know, wished death upon me and my family. I don't know what that's about. I mean, I'm one of the content creators that want to be relatable. I want you to see me like you. Don't see me as a YouTuber. I'm a regular person just like you are. Yeah, I have a platform to talk on, but at the end of the day, if you ever want to have a conversation, you come to Twitter and I will talk to anybody. Ask anybody that is subscribed to me and talks to me on Twitter. They will tell you that out of every YouTuber, I'm the most relatable one. I'm the most one, I'm the person that's going to comment back to everything, you know? I I may entertain the trolls here and there, but I want you to feel comfortable coming to me and talk. So when I saw all the support and prayers, it really changed something in me. It really gave me hope. People try to help me with my COVID symptoms, give me stuff to do. Um, what should I take? What should I, you know, eat to feel better? And a lot of that stuff I took advice for and I passed it on to other people and they're feeling fine. Is COVID so extreme? In my case, no. But I can't speak for everybody. What happened to me wasn't the same that happened to my fiance. She had no symptoms. Only thing she did, or I'm lying, one thing she did have, she lost a sense of smell. That was it. I had a fever. I had a um, hard time breathing. But it wasn't as extreme. But it, don't be selfish out here not wearing a mask and you carrying the virus and killing your grandparents or something, you know? So what I'm telling you from here on, I'm back in small, moderate rates, okay? I'm going to be doing a channel update soon, so it'll be a little more upbeat and happy. I just want to show my face and show my appreciation to you guys because I really needed you guys. I really need you guys spiritually, and I need you guys supportively to show me that, you know, I'm everything's going to be okay. We are, we, we're not miracle makers, okay? I know people are saying kind stuff, and they don't really know the outcome. But just knowing that there's people with empathy really filled that void. I was losing my damn mind, guys. I'm telling you, to, see, to just see my mother on FaceTime talking to me with an oxygen mask has, you know, mentally took a toll on me. I didn't want to do any content. I didn't want to tweet nothing. I didn't want to get on no fun. She's been in there since the 21st of December. Okay. She's missed Christmas, her birthday, New Year's, and my birthday. So it, it pretty much it messed me up a little bit, you know. But one thing I do know that brings me happiness is bringing you guys happiness. If I can't get out here and get on the mic and record stuff, it mean, it just feels like my day is just dragging on and I want to fast forward past this day. So I'm coming back to the channel. And this video right here, I don't know how long I'll leave it up. I'll leave it up so everyone to see it. It's not monetized. I might private it maybe three days from now. But I want you to know that I read everything. The good, the bad, the ugly. I read everything. And I'm saying thank you. Thank you for being more than a subscriber. I always look at you guys not as fans or anything like that. As more supporters, you know. I want a like goal. You guys help me reach a like goal. You know, I just got 8,000 subscribers. 8K. I couldn't even celebrate it. Couldn't even celebrate it. And the numbers just kept going up. And I'm like, damn. These guys are amazing. That's why I kept saying myself. You guys are amazing. So I'm going to work harder. I'm going to be like a phoenix. I'm coming back. And I'm coming back harder. We got Jump Force news coming up. More games are coming up. I got a, a new Elgato capture. I'm about to start dropping Switch games on the channel. Whatever you guys can suggest that you want to see, let me know. Let me know. Because we are a community, okay? Although we are a Jump Force community, we all, all Jump Force tubers, everybody that reached out, thank you guys too, content creators. I've seen you guys' messages. You guys look out for me. I appreciate it. Even though we all cover the same stuff, we all have our separate communities. My community is different from Nightly's. 
and Birdo and Stray and everybody else. So you guys who's a part of my community, thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, but you watch the channel all the time, thank you. Thank you for everything. This is only the beginning. I can't promise you what's going to happen, you know, to the channel a year from now, whatever. I don't know. But I'm going to take every day one step at a time, and I'm going to be dropping content. And I'm happy that I'm able to, you know, share this part of my life to you, okay? I really am happy. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, guys. And let's get back to work, you know? <laughs> let's get back to work. And as always, I'm Enigma, signing off. Peace, guys.